my friends, and welcome back to another showcase where today we are going to be showing off the immortal Greed from The Seven Deadly Sins. This guy, I gotta say, is in my top five favorite characters of all animes that I've ever seen. And look at this. Look at this man. He looks, he looks dirty right now. So we're gonna be taking a look at how good he is in battle. He's level 66 right now, so he's gonna be doing more damage than you know he would be if he just got him. And we're on Alice's account because Alice is the, the mythic acquirer. She's got in all the mythics. I keep rolling and rolling and rolling, and all I get is shinies and rares. And she gets like mythic and then mythic and then a griffin and then a second griffin if you didn't catch that last time. And so then legendary. She just gets everything. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and try him out on Snowy Town because he does bleed damage, which is excellent. Uh, I'm not gonna try to go for the Demon King because that guy is a little crazy, but we'll go for Act 5 and uh, we'll see how he does. You excited? I'm super excited. I love him. You think he can do this by himself? I am 100% believe so. Alright. He is my favorite character from, from, from Seven Deadly Sins, so I am really excited. Alright, so let's get started. Greed costs 1300 to start, so we're gonna have to wait until round 3 to even put him down for the first time. He had a little expensive. A little expensive. Uh, but not to worry. He's gonna take care of it. Okay. Oh my god. Is he gonna kill all three of them? I'm. I think I'll so. put him there. there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so starting out 836 damage at level 66. And the range is? Oh, and the range 21. Point four. My man, started. he knows how to do it. So yeah, Greed. Greed is pretty good. I'm very curious to see if he can actually take on the final boss, considering that he has bleed damage. Uh, I'm probably going to have to put down more than one of him, because last time we just put down Griffin, and uh, he was more than capable of handling it by himself. But, you know, since these guys regen, and they can be a little faster, we'll have to see. We'll play it by ear. What do you think? I think that is the smartest choice. What, to, play, to put more down? To play it by ear. To play it by ear, yep. Sounds good. All right, first upgrade, and on to the fifth wave. He's another character that also moves a lot. Once he starts uh, getting into his other up, his higher upgrades, he actually jumps to them and like attacks them pretty cool. Oh, pretty okay. Fun. Okay. Here, I'm gonna put down another one a little closer just so that we can upgrade that one and get through the wave slightly quicker. Let's take a little sneak peek at how close or how he looks in the on the battlefield. It's a little darker, but wow, look at that. All he has to do is wave his hand. Let's see, let's see him do it again. Come on. And and they're done. Look at that. Can you imagine? This is even better than Griffin. Griffin, granted, Griffin can use a sword and just destroy the enemies with air, apparently. But him? Nah. It's just his hand. He just whoop! You know, we're getting a little closer to Deku, because, no, you know, I guess no one really beats Deku with the flick, but come on, wait, just waving your hand and everybody goes, goes away. Bye. That's, that's too good. Run over. Let's keep going here. All right, I'm going to stop spectating him, and we're going to upgrade a couple times here, because we don't even have to. <laughs> and he's going to get the fox combo. That's the exciting one. That's making him most a lot. Okay. Do you know what the attack is? Like, what's he? What's he? It's what's the he same doing? thing that he's doing now. He just jumps on them and do and does and does more. Okay, got it. So it's like a stronger version of what he currently does. Correct. That's cool. Yeah, a lot of the other characters tend to have like a totally different attack when you upgrade them, which is interesting. So it's it's cool to see that this guy is sticking to the roots, keeping that keeping those attacks the same, kind of. Oh yeah, just more intense. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, in the anime, all he really relies on is his strength. It's not like he has magic or anything like that to help him out. Yeah. Pure strength. Pure Which strength. is what we see now, too, so. Pure strength. We haven't even seen uh, the region. Also, the fact that you that you know that he's immortal kind of helps. It doesn't matter if he dies. He just gets back up five minutes, not even five minutes later, a few seconds after. <laughs> yeah, we've seen him go through a lot. Like, he literally lived how long in the in that world waiting for Meliodas? Oh my god. It's, it's like centuries, right? Or thousands of years? Actually, I'm not sure. In the, the other? In the You're other world. looking it up? Oh, don't look it up. She's trying to cheat. I want to speak with facts. 
No facts here. Only destruction. Only oh, yes, destruction. And it's only greed doing the destructing. <laughs> Does he have another upgrade after this, or he's gonna be sticking with the the fox trap? Or the fox. That's how he fox does. Attack. That's all he does. Well, yeah. Okay, that's still pretty good. I mean, he's already at 6,200 damage, going up to 10,000 damage uh, on the next one, in only 7.4 seconds. His range didn't. Well, his range went up a bit. Yeah. How much is he here? Oh yeah, no, his range is pretty good too. I didn't even realize that Upper Demon's gone already. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Greed, greed is epic. And this one might be a little biased just because, you know, he's one of my favorites, but I'm pretty sure that he's one of the meta characters too. Uh, can you guys confirm that for me down below? Like, uh, I'd appreciate the knowledge. We definitely don't know that much yet, so. And that's why we didn't see him last time. That was the Upper Demon. <laughs> So yeah, I'm kind of curious if we've been getting really lucky with these mythics. I mean, I've seen so many different mythics at the summons when we go, so I know that there's like plenty of options. So the fact that we've gotten Griffin, we've gotten Chad, we've gotten Greed, and we've gotten Uso, I don't even Mochi. And we got in Mochi, like I, I think we've gotten really lucky. I I'd really appreciate the help though. If you guys could please let me know if our characters are good, if we should you know focus on leveling them up and evolving them. Or, or finding if, new ones. Or if we should find some new ones and maybe trash these. I'd appreciate the help a lot. I know we both would. We're, we've been steadily getting through these rounds. We're almost at the 15th, and we'll go ahead and skip to then so you guys can see how quickly Greed's able to destroy the demon boss. We're here, it's wave 15, and it looks like Koko Shibun's gonna be all by himself. And I don't think he realizes that he's up against the most powerful. He died in one attack. <laughs> you see, I expect that from Griffin, but just watching Greed do that, it's beautiful. It's very satisfying. So yeah, if you guys get Greed, I mean, clearly, if he's not meta, he's at least good enough to do some rounds by himself, so make sure you keep him on your lineup. Alright, let's go back to the lobby, and uh, we'll see you guys there. Alright guys, that was the showcase for Greed. So, yeah. Hope you liked it. <laughs> yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. We are big fans of Greed, and the bleed damage is epic, especially for those rounds where there's region enemies. So uh, let us know down in the comments below if there's any other mythics that we should be looking out for, and we'll definitely be trying to get them as soon as we can. Uh, we're definitely new at the game. If we haven't heard, if we haven't told you before, then please, please, please give us some tips and tricks so that we can definitely get better at the game. We want to go noob to pro, and if you guys feel like you want to play with us, then comment down below. We'd be really interested in playing with you guys, especially the anniversary islands. Like we we are not able to beat that on our own, like whatsoever. So it'd be really cool to get into the uh, to to get into some games with you guys. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.